The Bamboozler is the best weapon in Splatoon. Do you think that's a bold claim? Think about it. It was the weapon of choice in the Great Turf War, it has some of the best weapon stats in the game, and it can basically do anything it wants and succeed in a match with enough practice. Hi, I'm Ollie. I run the Bamboozler Propaganda Twitter account, and I'm here to give you some tips on how to use one of the weirdest and most versatile weapons in Splatoon, the Bamboozler. The Bamboozler is a charger with about the same range as the Heavy Splatling. However, it doesn't really play like other chargers, or really anything else in the game. There are two unique properties of the Bamboozler that you have to know about when picking up this weapon. The first is that it's the only charger that doesn't slot an enemy in one full charge. It might be able to knock out damaged enemies in one shot, but you're going to have to land two hits on most of your opponents to slot them. To compensate for this, the Bamboozler charges its shots really quickly, allowing it to paint more and be more adaptable than most other chargers. It still splats enemies pretty dang quickly if you can hit a person twice, and it has crazy object damage, letting it shred through opponents and objects effortlessly. The second unique property of the Bamboozler is that it always fires at full range regardless of how much a shot is charged. This means that you can combo enemies by shooting close to a full charge plus a tap shot, or you can do two half charge shots. You can hit enemies with whatever damage combos you want. However, your tap shot doesn't create a full light of ink and instead leaves a scattered pattern on the ground. So unlike other chargers, you have to fully charge your shot if you want to move around. You can play the bamboozler in any number of ways. You can sit back and scare people off with your quick, long range shots. You could play more like a traditional charger and focus on picking off anyone who comes in range. You can use your shots to paint for your team and combo with their damage. You could even get really aggressive to catch people off guard and dominate their base. The important part is that you have the right gear for whatever you're going for and that you keep people just at the end of your range. You have more range than most weapons. Take advantage of that to keep people from reaching you. Since the bamboozler requires you to hit a person with two precise charger shots in a row, I recommend practicing your aim in the training room before heading into a play session. It's also good to get the shot rhythm down for this weapon, since you don't want to be holding charges for longer than you need to. It's not a weapon for the faint of heart, but if you're dedicated enough, you can do amazing things with it. Those are some of the basics. If you want more information and help, reach out to the community. There are plenty of bamboo players out there who are willing to help you learn how to master this weapon. And if you want more bamboozler content, I upload on Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok. Thank you Squidman for having me, and happy bamboozling.